Multiplication How do you multiply 41 times 3? Our steps are multiply the 1's by 3 and multiply the 10's by 3. So first we'll multiply the 1's by 3. They're in red. 3 times 1. 1 is in the 1's place, so 3 times 1 is 3. Now we're going to multiply the 10's by 3. 4 times 3 is 12. Okay, we'll write that in the 10's place in the answer. Now let's multiply 41 times 20. So our steps are to multiply the 41 by the 0 and then multiply 41 by the 2. So we're going to multiply the 1's by 2 and the 10's by 2. So the first step is to multiply 41 by 0 and anything multiplied by 0 is 0. So that answer is 0. Now we're going to multiply the 1's by 2, so 2 times 1 is 2, and multiply the 10's by 2, 2 times 4 is 8. Okay, you see that 0 goes at the end there, because we're not really multiplying by 2, are we? We're multiplying by 20. So it's really 20 times 1, okay, that's why the 2 goes in the 10's place. So you just write your numbers in order there. 820 is the answer. Let's do another example. How do you multiply 27 times 5? So we've got to multiply the 1's by 5 and the 10's by 5. So there are the 1's in red. 7 times 5 is 35. So we can't write that in the 1's place. We write the 5 in the 1's place, and just like in addition, if there's more than one digit, then we carry it to the next column. See where I wrote 35? Can you find the 30? Right? I wrote the 30 in the tens column, right? Up above the tens column. So that's similar to addition. Addition is always 1. When you multiply, sometimes it can be a big number. Multiply the tens by 5. So they're in blue. So I have my 5 at the bottom. That's my 1's answer. Now we're multiplying the 10. So 2 times 5 is 10. And then I have to add the 3. Just like with addition, you add it on the number we carried. Same thing, we're going to add it on after we multiply. First you multiply, 2 times 5 is 10, and then you add on the 3, and that's 13. Then I write that in my answer. So 27 times 5 is 135. So how do we multiply 27 times 65? We're going to multiply the top number by the 1's and then the top number by the 10's. So multiply the top number by the 1's. Well, this is the problem we just did, right? 27 times 5, we learned was 135. Multiply the 1's, 7 times 5 is 35, and then 2 times 5 is 10, so C is 13. That's the problem we just did. Now, what about the 60? The next step, we aren't multiplying by 6. It's really 60, right? Remember when we did expanded form? 65 equals 60 plus 5. So this problem is really 27 times 60 plus 27 times 5. So the next step is to multiply the top number by the tens. The tens is the 6. Right? But it's not 6. It's really 60. Remember when we multiplied by 20? The first number was a 0. Same thing here. Our first number in the, our answer is 0. And then we do 6 times 7. It's 42. So I wrote a 2 there. Put a 4 at the top. 6 times 2 is 12. And 12 plus the 4 is 16. And you can see that written down there. 1, 6, 2, 0 is 27 times 60. We use the 6 to multiply, but we're really multiplying by 60, which is why there's that 0 at the end. 
So 65 equals 60 plus 5. Our problem is 27 times 60 plus 27 times 5. So I'm going to add those answers together. We multiply the top number by 5, then we multiply the top number by 60, and then we add them together. And there's our answer, 1,755. You're going to be learning this again. You don't need to <laughs> know all this perfectly right now. Okay, we're going to try some easier problems today on your worksheet.